All right, check one, check two. Testing one, two, three. Okay, looks like we are live. Uh, welcome to the uh, playing and singing tutorial for Man of Constant Sorrow, a recent Song of the Week selection, a song uh, made famous by the Soggy Bottom Boys in the movie Oh Brother, Where Art, where, where Art Thou? But a song that's actually been around for quite some time, recorded by many uh, notable artists long before that. And <clears throat> a lot of fun to play and sing. I did that one on the gourd banjo uh, for the video, and I will show you that video here in a second. I'm going to be walking uh, through this tutorial with uh, a regular uh, modern steel strung banjo, so it'll be tuned up a little bit higher. Um, so before we get to that, let me go ahead and play you a uh, man of constant sorrow. I am a man of constant sorrow. I've seen trouble all my days. I bid farewell to old Kentucky, the place where I was born and raised. Six long years I've been in trouble No pleasure here on earth I find For in this world I'm bound to ramble I have no friends to help me now It's fair thee well, my old true lover I'll never expect to see you again For I'm bound to ride that northern railroad Perhaps I'll die upon this train You can bury me in some deep valley for many years where I may lay And you may learn to love another While I am sleeping in my grave Maybe your friends think I'm just a stranger A face you never see no more but there is one promise that is given I'll meet you on God's golden shore All right, there it is, Man of Constant Sorrow. And now I will go through the um, how to kind of think about playing and singing this song as I've done in the other playing and singing tutorials. Again, uh, for those of you in the Breakthrough Banjo course, this is an extension of the how and play to, uh, how to sing and play series of modules. So I would encourage you to go through those first uh, if you haven't already before going through these. Um, and uh, this. Uh, recording of this video will be in the um, workshop archive inside the Breakthrough Banjo course at clawhammerbanjo.net. Um, if you want to grab the tab for this song uh, that includes the vocal backup plus the break, um, there a, should be a link in the description. You can go to clawhammerbanjo.net forward slash sorrow. All right, so to begin, uh, let's start uh, as we always do with songs, which is to uh, pick out the chord progression. Not too challenging. This song really just has one melodic unit that um, repeats throughout. And we are in the key of G, so let's go ahead and make sure we're in tune. Uh, D on the fourth string, G on the third, 
B on the second, D on the first, and G on the fifth. So uh, as I mentioned, I played this on the gourd banjo on the video, so I was tuned down, uh, I think about five half steps um, to the key of G, I mean to the key of D. Uh, so we're now tuned to uh, the key of G, but it's the same relative tuning, so it's the tab is exactly the same. We play it exactly the same, it just puts it in a, di in a different key. All right, so our, our root, uh, we're now in the key of G. Our one chord is G major, which is where our song begins. I am a man of constant, and then we go to switch to the C chord, sorrow. I've seen D chord, trouble, and I'm gonna finger that partial D there. Trouble on my back to G days. And that's really it, but we'll go through it one more time. I'm still on G. Bid farewell to old Kentucky, the place where I was born and raised. So, sir, so I D was born and raised G. Okay, simple, straightforward chord progression. Um, and uh, if we want to just do something simple, straightforward, behind our voice, just do the bum ditty pattern. And alternate the bum on those, on that third and fourth string. Um, in the song, uh, in the little pauses in between uh, the fra the, the um, vocal phrases, I do a, a little vamp that emulates um, what is done on the um, uh, on the recording in the in the movie uh, uh, Man of, uh, uh, "Oh Brother, Where Art Thou?" by Dan Tominsky, uh on the guitar. So I'll I'll show you that um, little figure. In here in just a second. Um, so that's the basic version. And then so the next thing we could do is just add in a few little melody notes. That's basically uh, what I did in the um, what I have as the vocal backup uh, in the on the tab arrangement. So basically, that is the pattern. I mean, that is what you do throughout the entirety of this song, and that's why I think that little vamp uh, figure helps to keep things uh, interesting. And so I'm going to show that to you now. Um, let me switch to a tab view. Okay, so. What you see at the top of the screen, the first two measures, is that little figure that I play in between uh, the vocal phrases, kind of throughout the song. Once again. So you've got multiple skip strokes to drop thrum, the thumbs to create that highly syncopated pattern. So let's go through it slowly. Again, I'm on this first measure here where this blue box is, okay? Um, so we've got, we're gonna play the fourth string at the third fret, and we're gonna then pull off the um, third string. Okay, that's how it starts. Then we're gonna play a brush thumb with nothing fretted. And then the open third. And then a skip stroke to the thumb on the fourth string fretting at the third fret. So slowly that measure, okay, more time, all right, so we got that last note that's syncopated, second note you see and the last note you see is syncopated, all right, and then this next measure, tons of skip strokes to the uh, to drop thumb. So we're skipping the first one, playing the open third, 
skipping, playing the third fret of the third, skipping, playing the open third, and then a brush thumb. So that measure, I'm oh, sorry. And again, it won't sound quite right uh, out of context without that preceding first measure since we're kind of continuing that syncopated pattern. So I'll play two, both measures together slowly. So that what that does is it gets that thumb com, uh, consistently playing on that off beat, which gets you that syncopated rhythm in that second measure. One more time. And I'll quickly just go ahead and show you how this vocal backup part that I have tabbed out sounds. Starts like this. So that's that measure. Skip stroke to a drop thumb. All we have singing is I. Next measure, like this. So again. Let's go to the next measure. Sounds like this. <clears throat> Once more time. Man, man, oops, man. Next measure. Once again. Of constant. C chord now. You see this pattern throughout. Bum ditty and then a bump a ditty, but that uh, second uh, bum is skipped. Okay? Sorrow. That's how that measure sounds. Last measure. Uh, so don't be tripped up here. We've got a, just a straight four bum ditty and then a skip stroke. And instead of bringing my thumb to the Second string, I just bring it to the first string. So I'm skipping, and then I'm playing the first string with my thumb. So. I sing. And that's so that I can get that melody note. Sing. So once again, this measure. Next measure. Same pattern just on that D chord. Oops, sorry. Ends there. Next measure. One more time. And now, we're gonna end it, like I said, every phrase ends with this kind of two measure um, uh, vamp. started with. All right? Um, now this, uh, right, I just wanted to show you here, if you recall on the song, uh, it, um, I see trouble all my days, um, I bid farewell to old Kentucky, place where I was born and raised, you have the echo, it's call and response. Where the, where the uh, backup band goes, the place where he was born and raised. So I just play that on the banjo since I'm singing this one by myself. And that part starts here. So again. The place where... Again, I'm just emulating that on the back in the banjo whenever that part comes up. Next, next measure. This measure was born in. and then it goes back to that vamp again. Raise. So really, this is kind of the all. Of this is this this uh, little figure repeats throughout the song. And that's really the most, um, that's really the piece of, of picking to get down um, 
and the rest is just kind of doubling the vocal melody. All right, let me go back to this view. Um, let me just pause for any questions. Okay, um, if you are watching this in the um, Brando Virtual Classroom and you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to ask in the comment box on the bottom of the page. And I will see you all in the next video.